what is up guys welcome back to another awesome episode today we're going to be unboxing a nice big box from Vervas, the made in japan fishing line that you guys know that i love and use exclusively on the channel let's see exactly what they sent the channel today and once again thank you very much for the support and love without further ado let's go to bird's eye view and show you what we got today all right ladies and gentlemen here we go super excited very of us really hooked up the channel so let's show you exactly what's in the box here Super excited, man. What we got here? Oh my gosh. Wowzers. That's a lot of BFS line. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, let's let's go and empty this out and show you exactly what we have here. Okay, let's start off with this line here. Oh nice. Okay, Verivus, Verivus line. Man, they freaking loaded the channel up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I might have to give some of this away, man. Seriously. Lots of great stuff. Okay, let's just. I'm gonna load all this, man, and I'm just gonna show you what we got. All right, as you see, we got a plethora of freaking new items from Veravas. You guys don't know, if you've been following me for a while, you guys probably know that I've been working with Veravas for a good over two years now, and they are the line of choice made in Japan that I like to use on my BFS rigs for pretty much every single rig I have. I've been entrusting them, they, they've helped me catch a lot of big fish and I highly recommend them. So let's just go over exactly what we got. So starting with the new Veribus 8, what is this? This is a brand new braided line targeted for versatile use, especially for inshore saltwater fishing. And they come in two different colors. We have multi-color as you can see here, and we have the blue color. Great color choices in my opinion. I've asked them to send me a variety of different strengths. Uh, this is the Veribus, I think this is PE number eight. Yeah, obviously, right, duh, eight. Uh, so therefore it is a stronger strand still very very thin compared to power pro here in the united states and once again i asked them to send me different gauges which means different strengths uh one gauge right here this is 150 meters so a little bit over 150 yards is 20 pound strength and it probably in my opinion let me just go open this it is thinner than power pro 10 pound believe it or not i mean it is super thin stuff right there uh, like I said, I've been using this on my BFS reels without any issues at all. One gauge is probably the the, the thinnest in diameter I would go uh, for redfish flounder speckled trout, especially in our oyster uh, filled waters. <laughs> One, and then I opted for the 1.2, which is 23 pounds, which is just a little bit more thicker than the one gauge, obviously, since it's stronger in um, weight. Uh, but 1.2, I love the 1.5, especially if I'm going to be using like a popping cork on my spinning reels. 1.5 is great, still really thin. 1.5 honestly is probably equivalent to the 10 pound Power Pro that you guys are used to using here in the United States. And this is 31 pounds of drag force compared to the 10 pound Power Pro, which is obviously 10 pounds. And then I like the two gauge, which, which is max 37 pounds. And if I'm going to be fishing the jetties, this is what I'm gonna be using. Honestly, this is probably equivalent to Power Pro 15 pound uh, that you buy here in the state size and thickness size, but obviously it's much more stronger and thinner. Obviously all made in Japan right there. If you guys can see it, if you care about that stuff, really highly recommend this new Veribus 8 line. I'm super excited to use this on my channel. And honestly, I've already actually used these. I've gotten several in. Uh, from the past uh, they came out probably late last year and it's been working really well so love these they also sent the max power pro pe which you guys are very well familiar if you like that lime color this is the line to get the max power pe is a very versatile line just like the veribus 8 but honestly i think i'm going to replace all the max power pe with the new veribus 8 just because this is new improved and it's targeted for us inshore saltwater fishing anglers uh, but if you like the green color you want a green color the max power pe is what you need to get once again i got the one gauge which is 20.2 pounds of strength 1.2 gauge is 24.1 1.5 28.6 and two gauge right here as you guys can see is 33 pounds now i want to show you attention right here compared to this new one if you compare the two gauge strength 
versus the Veritas 8, the brand new model versus the old model of Max Power PE, you can see two gauge is 33 pounds, whereas two gauge here is 37 pounds. So the thicker the line you get, the more powerful this is because the strand is new and improved and it's once again built for inshore saltwater fishermen. But don't make any mistake, this is a great line and I highly recommend. If you're looking for a thin line, like a one gauge, this is just a hair bit thinner in my opinion versus the Veritas 8, so it's probably more appropriate for the BFS, like say the Air, Steez Air TWPE from Daiwa. Uh, but you can also use this honestly. All right, moving on. Let's check out the shock leaders that Veribus has sent the channel uh, These are great fluorocarbon once again made in Japan as you guys can see it Where does it say there it is made in Japan really great stuff? I've been using this on the channel for over two years I opted for the 20 and 40 pound thinking that you know during the low winds clear water sessions of the summer I might hit up the jetties and go deep and I need something that's going to be more resistance to those rocks and the jetties and 40 pound trust me that's plenty of strength to catch what we have here in Texas and 20 pound obviously is going to be also another great strength this is a great bank fishing fluorocarbon leader if you're looking for something like that if you like to pound the bank you want to use like a medium size rod and probably like a 200 size bait casting reel the 20 pound shock leader is probably going to be what you want to look for but if you're like me and you want to fish BFS, you need to get thinner line. And they sent me the new sea bass shock leader. This is actually pound for pound. This is actually thinner than the shock leader that they have in stock. And this right here is designed for BFS inshore fishing. Like the fishing I like to do on a channel. And I'm super excited to actually use this because I never actually used this. Didn't even know they had this model. Made in Japan once again, fluorocarbon sea bass. Obviously it's made for salt water and it's gonna be super thin. 12 pounds, fluorocarbon liter, 30 meters. Man, this is gonna be a winner for the light and ultralight stuff. And if I need to get even like lighter, like I need to throw lighter than 1 16th ounce, then I might put on the 10 pound shock, sea bass shock liter. And this is super ultra thin. I mean, you can barely see it with your eyes, but very strong, made in Japan stuff. Love it. Thank you, Veribus. All right, if you guys didn't know, Veribus is the king of lines in Japan, but they also make terminal tackle. And honestly, I've never actually used any terminal tackle from Veribus, but they sent the channel some to try them out. And what do we have here? We have the ring gritter, rockfish hook, obviously made for salt water. It's going to be uh, salt water resistant, not rust on you. And what is this? It's like a, okay, it's like a warm hook almost, but it has a swivel at the end so you can add a weight or maybe something something shiny that spins like make it almost like a you know one of those swim bait type with the paddle tail hooked up to it um yeah this looks pretty cool man really small hooks once again veribus is known for bfs finesse fishing and i am not surprised that they have these hooks that are really small once again made in japan yep made in japan wouldn't think anything less i got the one aught two watt and I got the three out right there. So actually, wait, these are different. Okay, this is a ring gritter, and these are plain gritters, like a warm hook. Okay, so this is gonna be great to be used with a paddle tail three out hook. I'm pretty used to using three out and four out for redfish. Uh, ring gritter two out. Okay, here we go. Ring, and this is not the ring gritter. This is a regular gritter two out. So pretty cool right there. Oh, same same thing. So my mistake. I just kind of mixed them up. Ring gritter one out and plain gritter one out right here for small little paddle tails to use on a channel. And we have here the power gritter. So these are gonna be much more stronger and uh, yeah, yeah, way strong, way thicker compared to these right here. Like this is a three aught ring gritter. This is the power gritter. You can tell it is the one aught is as thick as a three aught here. So uh, I guess more targeted for the heavier fish, bigger baits per se. It looks like a warm hook once again, but yeah, this is gonna be a great little addition to put in my arsenal. And they sent the channel the one knot, the two knot, and the three knot. So looking forward to really using these to catch some big fish. Okay, what do we have here? We have some weights. Okay, so this is a weight that you actually put on these power gritters just like that. So I'll probably be using this on the two knot. This is a 2.7 grams. So this is three and 30 second ounce. Uh, as you guys can see right there, it moves around. So yeah, it's a, it's a weight that you put on the hook to make it a weightless uh, swim hook per se. Oh, okay. There you go. It actually goes through the sleeve itself. Okay, right there There's a plastic little sleeve the hook goes right through and it you know fits perfectly on the hook itself and It's adjustable to give you a different 
um, look where it just falls face down or you know falls like more evenly so yeah pretty cool right there going to be using this with this in combination see if we can catch some fish and we have some more hooks here <laughs> ring splash one out two out three out uh, once again, these are more like in gear of kind of like these ring gritters here. If I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look um, Okay, it's a different shape. It's a different shape These are more of a wide gap hook where these are not as wide gap hooks So pretty much the same concept, but the hook the shaft itself between the hook and the shaft It's obviously it's not as wide. So uh, pretty cool. We're gonna be using these two And last but not least we have some more weights, and what is this right here? These are the Slim, TG Slim Shaker Quick Changer. Oh, okay, so this is gonna be for like drop shots. Oh, this is perfect actually, because uh, there have been times when I actually need a drop shot, and I'm gonna be using that technique on the channel. There we go, yeah, there you go, drop shot. And it's thin, it's micro, it's very small. 3.5 gram, man, that's really, I'm, is this tungsten? I don't know, man, but these Japanese people, man, they didn't know how to make some stuff. Okay, so it's very small, it's thin, so it doesn't get caught or easily caught in any kind of vegetation when you're trying to target that redfish. As you guys see in the picture, you can hook it up any different way, just like that, to make it a drop shot. So yeah, I'm going to be really using this on the channel because I said there have been times when I'm fishing skinny water and I'm seeing those fish in that vegetation, like especially like Matagorda, and I can't... I can't I, I can't throw a typical you know paddle tail and you know swim that paddle tail because it'll get stuck in all that vegetation so dropping a drop shot right in front of the face will actually give me a better chance of catching fish so three and a half grams and five grams this is three sixteen pounds yeah pretty cool man guys let me know in the comments have you tried Verivus? do you like Verivus? have you had issues with it have you had success with it i want to know your comments and thoughts you know, everyone's comments is welcome. It's an open forum. Let me know what you guys think. But personally, from my own experience, I've used it for over two years, never had any issues, great customer service, great Japanese branded line. I mean, I think honestly, they are the biggest uh, fishing line um, manufacturer in Japan or one of the biggest. So, you know, they know what they've been doing. They've been doing it for many, 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 40 plus years, I think. So anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and also, just a reminder, okay, if you ever see me out in the water, or you ever see me at Bucky's or the boat launch or whatever the case may be, if you come up and say hi, let me know that you're following me on any of my social media plugs, whether it be Facebook, you know, Instagram, YouTube, whatever the case may be, uh, let me know and I'll hook you up with some line, man. This, th These lines are premium lines. I have a lot and I love to share the love to you guys because you show the support. So thank you so much. Make sure you hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.